Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Monday night, another day, another comeback victory for the New York Mets. They scored two runs after two out in the bottom of the 11th inning to beat the red hot Toronto Blue Jays 4 to 3. Lucas Duda with the tying hit, Wilmer Flores with the walk off hit. Well, another big win for the Mets. A big win yesterday against the Braves, coming from behind, five runs down and winning that ball game after a tough loss the night before, and now facing a team came in here, the hottest team in Major League Baseball, 11-game winning streak, a game that was seesaw. Uh, Batista, Jose Batista, two solo shots. The game went back and forth. The Met held, Mets held the lead. Familia came in for the, for the four-out save. He gave up a home run in the ninth to Batista, his second to tie, and then we went on to extra innings there, and due to the hero with a bloop, doubled on the left field line that scored Kadire, who was running on a 3-2 count. And then Flores comes through again, his 31st RBI game winner, first pitch base up the middle, ball game over. I'll be honest with you, 3-2, two, two outs. I'm on first base. I didn't even look at the outfield. Um, you know, I, I, I'm running off the, like I said, off the pitch, um, and I'm not stopping until tough stops me. And fortunately, I got the wave at home, and I'm, I was heading home. Mike Kadire shows exactly what he talked about in spring training, about we're gonna, the veterans are going to play the game right. He's running on the pitch and never one step slowed up and scored on a pop-up to left field. So, um, you know, it's important that it was, it was a huge, huge inning for us. Great feeling. Um, I mean, I said it two days ago, uh, when you win games like this, it's because you did everything right and we executed. Especially when you fall behind like we did and then have to come back, you know, and with, you know, we got, we're, we're pretty much out of pitching. So that was a b huge inning for us. So, uh, but this is like three games on his homestand that we've, you know, came out of nowhere to win games. And uh, it just builds tremendous confidence in the clubhouse that it can be done. Second blown save of the year for Familia. The Mets have rallied to win an extra innings both times. This game started as a tremendous pitcher's duel between two pitchers who could not be more contrasted Noah Syndergaard and Mark Burley were both great well they were both pitched well but I think the focus should be on Syndergaard coming off of two bad starts where he gave up 10 hits in both of his last two starts he really threw a brilliant, a brilliant game against a very tough hitting ball lineup here with Toronto struck out 11 batters in six innings work only gave up two two base hits in one run that was the solo shot to Batista early in the ball game so Good to see uh, uh, Noah bouncing back. He threw very hard, as he always does. He had a good, good change-up today. The best change-up I've seen him have through for strikes. The first inning killed him. I mean, 32 pitches in the first inning killed him. And Because after that, he got rolling. I mean, we're talking about that's the best change-up I've seen him have. Uh, command of it. You know, and when you're trying to hunt that fastball and he uses that change-up, I mean, that's why our, where all the strikeouts came from. And very, very, very good outing after the first inning. Just outstanding and very happy for him because that's he needed one of those right now. For the most part, I feel like I could throw anything, fastball, curveball, change up in, in, in any count tonight. I feel like that's what uh, was the ultimate reason why I had so much success. Um, but overall, um, I mean, I'm glad we, we pulled out a victory out of that. There's not a better feeling. These guys are the hottest team in baseball. They've got a tremendous lineup. Um, and after the first inning, he took control of it. And uh, I was very impressed with the way he went about it. Just very impressed. He just used his stuff and uh, didn't get, you know, didn't get upset, didn't try to overthrow, which can happen when you've got that kind of arm. And he just settled in and made pitches. So the Mets rally for two in the bottom of the 11th, beat Toronto 4-3, to three, snapping the Blue Jays' 11-game winning streak. Now the Mets and Blue Jays will do it again on Tuesday night. Matt Harvey on the mound for the Mets. Our coverage begins at 6 o'clock with Cadillac first pitch on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.